What's up guys? Sam here with Freedom Chaser. It's it's kind of chilly outside. So I got some blueberries and strawberries to plant for the garden this spring. And I got them at a store called Tractor Supply. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that place. But it was cool because they caught my eye on the aisle and I think I impulse bought, but I'm not mad about it. I just want to show you guys. They were all, they were in like a nice, tall, glossy pictures. And I just, I said, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. I wanted to do strawberries and blueberries this year, but um, so once I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, I, need, I gotta have them. Uh, so they are called Misty Blueberry. That's the blueberry. And the strawberries are called Ever, Ever Sweet. The strawberries, strawberries and blueberries. Planting instructions for the strawberries. Soak plants in water a few minutes before planting. May be planted in any well-drained soil. Um, the soil here where I'm at in Texas is, it's, it's like clay. It doesn't drain out well at all. So I'm probably going to, I got some buckets right under there. I'll put some potting soil in it and put these in there. Dig a hole large enough to encompass the roots without bending or circling. Set the plant in place so the crown, part of the plant where the root meets the stem, is level with the surface. Cover with soil to original soil surface. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty simple. Oh, it says the quantity is 10 plants. There's 10 plants in here? It says there's 10 plants in here. I thought it was just like one sticking in the ground. Mm. Blueberries. It says there's one plant. And you could see the one plant. You could see that one. I guess that's just the one. I don't know, maybe there's a bunch of seeds. Let's just bust it open and see what we're doing here. Okay, it's it's literally just a it's a chunk of dirt. You see in there? So I guess I'll have to just spread it out over the, in the pot. Maybe the strawberry seeds are spread out in there. I'm not sure. So we'll see. Ooh, I'm excited. I love blueberries. I know they are high in antioxidants and they're really good for your immune system and your overall health. I've got my two buckets out and ready. Um, I, I don't know. I may need to get another bucket because I've got two blueberries and I bought two strawberry boxes and the blueberries have one stem. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I need to think about it for a minute. So these are the, these are the two bucket right here that I planned on doing strawberries and blueberries. But like I said, I'm not quite sure because I don't know if I should just do one one bucket per box. Mm, oh, also they're GMO free. That's what I'm talking about. You don't want GMOs in your in your food. Okay. The directions don't say anything about how big they get. I know every brand or every um, every type is different. It doesn't say this. I guess I'll just do. I'll just put both blueberry boxes in one container and both strawberry boxes in the other container and we'll just roll with that and just a quick update on my little sprouts they are already popping up it's been about a week and they've been sitting in this cart that I can safely roll in and out of the rough weather in the well house. I've got potting soil right here and over here. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I've got soil from the ground. It's really hard and clumpy, but I'm going to mix the two together and it's going to help break up the, the soil that's from the ground. And these are kind of big pots and I'm running low on potting soil. So I'm just going to kind of mix it all in together and um, yeah, because I mean there's the soil is there's nothing really wrong with it. It's just really 
difficult for water to drain with the soil down here. I'm going to do this. It's probably going to take a while because I have to break up that soil and I will get right back to you guys to show you the finished product. It's so cold outside. It's like 60 degrees. It's cold to me. Okay guys, the strawberries and the blueberries are put in the buckets and I was lucky because I found another bag of potting soil so I didn't have to mash up the hard clay soil so that was nice let me show you guys the end result the instructions on the strawberries said make sure you plant where the root meets the stem plant that right at the, the top level because apparently strawberries grow like out from there and they need extra room and the blueberries just said make sure the root is one to two inches underneath the soil here's the strawberries see you can see all the the stems, the root and the stem. Yeah, where the root meets the stem. This is apparently where the strawberries come out. See, here's more stems. And here's the blueberries. They are, the roots are one to two inches underneath the soil. But those are the strawberries and the blueberries. I really hope that they produce. Like I said, I love blueberries. I think they're really, really good for your health. And having like a handful a day, um, it's one of my favorite things to eat. I hopefully will have an update on those in a few months. Hope you guys are being kind to one another and enjoying life and starting your spring garden if you're interested in one uh, or just a little herb garden or something. I'm becoming this big, huge advocate on growing your own food all of a sudden. Uh, it's an amazing feeling. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.